The intervertebral discs, which are found in the spine, play a very important role in that they act as cushions when the person is walking or performing physical activities. What happens with age is the cushioning ability of the disc becomes less and less because the disc loses the cells in the middle of the disc, it loses them, and it becomes very fibrotic, so it becomes tougher. Now, in certain people, this natural process of degeneration of the disc is accelerated for a variety of reasons, some known, some unknown. Physical activity, repeated physical activity, is one of the reasons. Now, what the investigators did in the paper we're going to be discussing is they made a mouse model of this disc degenerative disease and then they treated it with stem cells. So, how do you give a mouse disc degenerative disease? What the investigators did was they made a hole, they punctured a hole in the annulus fibrosus where the disc is like a tire and in the middle is a nucleus pulposus which keeps, makes different molecules that keep the disc uh, able to move up and down. Those cells in the middle they eventually die when the disc degenerates. The cells on the outside, those are the cells that protect what's inside. So to induce the disc degenerative disease, what the investigators did is they punctured a hole through the annulus fibrosus so that parts of the nucleus proposes leak out and start to degenerate. Now, when you look microscopically, what you see is before the injection, where it says pre-op, what happens is the disc has a very nice uh, organized architecture with a proposis in the middle and the annular fibrosis around it. After two weeks, six weeks and twelve weeks you can see a degeneration. Associated with the degeneration is loss of the genes producing the important molecules that keep the disc having ability to absorb pressure. These molecules are SOX9, um, Agrican, which absorbs water, and also uh, collagen 2. Now, associated with this reduction um, and with deterioration is loss of glycosaminoglycans, uh, G GAGs. These are also molecules that absorb water, so these ones are lost. And also, as you can see in this figure, the actual height of the disc becomes reduced. Now, in order to treat this, the investigators used mesenchymal stem cells. Mesenchymal stem cells derived from GFP mice, which are green fluorescent protein, so that you can trace the cells. And the cells were made from the bone marrow of GFP mice, um, as shown in this figure, cultured under DMEM with 20% fetal calf serum and so on. The cells were injected into the mice two weeks after induction of this damage. 1,000 cells were injected microscopically into the damaged disc. Now, as you can see, after the injection, here is um, the top row is the deteriorate is, is controls, which there is no deterioration. The second row is animals that had the disc puncture, but no stem cells given. As you can see, the deterioration is occurring. If you compare the top, which is control, and then the bottom where you just made a hole, you punctured a hole in the disc. In the third row, underneath, you can see deterioration, but if you look at four weeks, for example, and compare the four-week time point um, on the bottom third row with the four-week time point of the second row, you can see that there is a preservation of the cells inside the disc, of the nucleus proposal cells. You can also see, in this figure, there is an increase in the, in the genes in the SOX9 Agrican and collagen 2 in the mice that received the mesenchymal stem cells. Now, you, and of course there was an increase in the glycosaminoglycans which absorb the water after the stem cell injection. So, the question is, does this increase the height of the disc? And as you can see in this figure, as opposed to the, the, the animals which had no puncture, the disc was high. When they had the puncture, it was much lower and then when you gave the stem cells, it was preserved. So, how could this be working? Well, it was very interesting because if you count the number of green cells, so remember we gave the, the authors gave green stem cells to the mice. At week 24, there's a decrease in the number of green stem cells. However, at week 24, 
there's actually higher levels of the genes associated with the disc functioning of the nucleus proposis genes collagen 2 and SOX9. So what the investigators thought is maybe the injected stem cells were stimulating the nucleus proposis cells to actually multiply. And indeed in this figure you can see this is the nucleus proposis cells, the cells in the middle of the disc that are GFP negative, they're not green. So this was not the injected stem cells but these cells continue to multiply um, at a higher at a later time point. So the purpose of this paper, what this paper is saying is that the administration of stem cells seems to reduce the process of disc degeneration and one of the mechanisms is by stimulating the endogenous nucleus proposis cells to produce proteins that make the disc retain its function. Thank you very much.